What's up at welcome back sa inyo mga wapakers So today, nakuha na natin yung ating Note and Plus Pero of course may mga settings tayong gustong palitan Depende sa ating pangangailangan So, tuturo ko sa inyo ang 13 settings Na kailangan yung palitan sa inyong Note and Plus Agad-agad Ano, tara? Alright, so huwag niyong kalimutan mag-subscribe, like, and share sa aming mga video para kayo ay updated sa tuwing mag-upload kami. So, una sa listahan ay ang notification panel. Of course, kailangan natin palitan dito at alisin yung mga bagay na hindi naman natin ginagamit. So, sa case ko, may Bluetooth na nakabukas. Sometimes, pag bilhin nyo ng Note 10 Plus nyo, may mga nakabukas pang item dyan na hindi nyo naman kailangan. So, off nyo lang yun. So, on lang natin kung ano yung ating mga kailangan. Okay? So, pangalawa sa ating list ay ang backup and restore. Now, ito ay posibleng alam na ng marami sa atin. Pero, of course, hindi lahat ginagawa ito. Pero, ito ang pinaka, isa sa pinaka-importante kailangan yung gawin sa inyong phone na backupan nyo yung data nyo kapag nagamit nyo sa Of course, para pag na-corrupt yung data nyo or kailangan nyo ilipat yung inyong files sa possible upgrade in the future, meron kayong backup. Alright? So, ang next uh, sa ating list ay ang Find My Phone. Okay? So, punta lang tayo sa Backup and Security, uh, Biometrics and Security. Okay? So, makikita nyo dyan yung Find My Phone. Tap nyo lang yan. Alright, so nakikita nyo yung information ko. Basically, hindi ko pa siya nasa-setup because I wanted to show you guys na itong settings na to, basically, is going to protect your phone. Especially, pag nawala siya or may nagnakaw, mahanap nyo yun yung phone. Basically, mag-register lang kayo dito. Tapos, pwede kayo mag-login sa website ng Samsung. At pwede nyo siyang hanapin, pwede nyo siyang i-block, pwede nyo siyang backupan, pwede nyo siyang tawagan, pwede siyang i-locate. Actually, pag nawala siya, pag pinatay siya, kunyari, dinakaw siya, pag pinatay siya, magsisend yun sa website ng last location kung saan natagpuan or saan niya na-locate yung inyong phone. Alright? So, isa yan sa pinaka-pinaka importante kailangan yung gawin sa inyong phone. Okay? Alright. So, susunod na settings ay yung display or vivid screen. Now, kung mapapansin nyo, yung screen ko ay medyo parang maputla. No? So, punta lang tayo sa settings. Punta tayo sa display. Okay? So, pag pupunta tayo sa settings, you can just pull down the notifications panel at itap nyo yung settings sa taas. Okay? So, makikita nyo yung screen mode. It says natural. No? Tap lang natin yan. And palitan natin to vivid. Okay? So, you can adjust it the way you want it. But let's just go ahead and go to the normal Uh, settings So, labas tayo Okay, so I don't know if you guys can notice that But the color is actually a little bit sharper From the colors earlier So, yan ang isa sa pinaka Of course, magandang palitan nyo sa inyong phone Okay, alright So, susunod natin settings ay Ang battery percentage Now, battery percentage normally Nandyan sa sa pinaka taas Now, you guys can see mine because I already set up it. But for some, hindi nyo makikita yan kaagad. Now, to do that, all you have to do is pull down yung ating uh, notifications panel. Click, tap nyo yung settings. Tapos, punta tayo sa notification. Okay? So, makikita nyo yung status bar. Tap nyo yung status bar. And normally, naka-off yan. So, tinan nyo na wala na yung percentage sa taas. When you turn that on, you can instantly see yung battery percentage ko sa itaas. So, that is one of the best way to utilize that, of course, notification para hindi na kayo kailangan mag, you know, uh, mag-pull down lagi ng notifications panel to check your battery. And so, ang susunod natin settings ay ang notification opacity. Now, dito nyo makikita yung notifications, guys. Pag nilock nyo, you can see the notification or the messages right there. At dito sa itaas. Now, I wanted to show you guys how to change that or customize it the way you want it or the way na mag-work para sa inyo. Now, some of us also wants privacy. So, let me show you guys kung saan siya papalitan. So, again, you just have to go to 
uh, settings go to your lock screen you will see this uh, portion here that says notification tap nyo lang yan makikita nyo to as you can see may preview sa baas okay you can change it normally I actually do it only on icons para pag nilock sya icons lang sya ganito lang ang lalabas you can actually also change it to brief where it's gonna show some preview of the information or detailed where it's also gonna send you or give you the actual message itself now of course pag pag ganyan sya now let's lock it pag tinap yung inyong phone hindi na kailangan pumunta sa loob ng messages makikita na nila yung messages nyo now of course some of us wants to be as private as possible so what we can do is basically change it or change the transparency of this as you can see it changes but for me what I normally do is just tap this hide content so it hides the icon and then click on icons only so when you lock the phone basically it only shows that you have a notification that is only of course if you want to be private on the information that you have on your phone and then of course I'm just gonna change it to detail just for the sake of you guys seeing this information here okay top natin yan all right so there you go guys what any message oh I only see uh, a portion of that all right so our next of settings naman natin ay ang digital well-being so all you have to do is go to digital well-being here on the settings now by the way some of us might already know this but this is actually one of the best features of our phone wherein of course if you spend too much time dun sa paggamit ng inyong phone you can actually view here kung gaano kayo kalakas kumamit for example social media app if this is designed for those people who spend too much time on their phone you can pwede nyo yung actually palitan yung information ng digital well-being by just tapping yung ating settings right here so there you go you can actually see the information of your usage of this phone now I, I spent 13 minutes on Chrome I spent one min uh, two minutes on this uh, accuracy battery and you can actually just go ahead and tap here okay and then you can change kung ilang uh, minutes yun lang siya gusto mong gamitin for example I just want to uh, use my my Chrome for um, 15 minutes kapag nag max out na yan for example uh, let's go ahead and do a custom just for you guys to see it I'm just gonna do one minute oops sorry let's change that again zero and then one minute as you can see nag grade out na yung Chrome so, pag ginamit ko siya or pinula ko siya, it's not gonna let me open it. So, this is basically for our own personal health if we are spending too much time on our phone. Okay? Now, let's go ahead and check another settings. So, ang next settings natin is yung device care. Now, it's just right below yung dun sa ating digital well-being. So, when you tap that, you have this feature that optimizes your phone. Basically, tinatanggal niya yung mga unnecessary things sa ating background para mabilis yung ating cell phone. Now, this has two features. Ang una natin pag-uusapan ay yung auto restart. So, basically yung ginagawa nito is nire-restart na yung phone automatically on a specific time na schedule nyo. At, of course, pagising nyo sa umaga, fully refreshed yung in your phone. Now, the next one is yung auto optimization. Yung auto optimization ay the same thing, but it basically do it while the phone is turned on you can set it up on a specific time as well i set it up on 3 a.m as well because of course that's the time that i'm asleep so pag gising ko sa umaga fully optimized na yung aking phone so i'm just gonna turn it off temporarily okay all right so next settings natin is yung double tap to wake so from the settings all you have to do is go to advanced features go to motions and gestures and then you can see the double tap to wake now basically this one guys um, all you have to do is turn that on it will automatically turn on your screen when you double tap it while it's locked see that okay now you can also use this lift to wake 
and smart stay. Let's talk about the smart stay first. Yung smart stay is yung pag nakatingin ka sa screen, basically kung nanonood ka ng movie, sometimes the, the phone turns off the screen. Now, pag naka smart stay ka, of course, pag nadetect niya na nanonood ka, your face is there on the front of the phone, it will always, of course, stay on. So, ang next settings naman guys, or I mean yung additional features para sa inyo is yung lift to wake. Basically, this one, when you turn off the uh, screen and then lift the phone up, it's, it's not working, but let me go ahead and do that again. Okay, tanggalin mo na natin yung double tap. Okay, so when I lift the phone up, basically, it will turn on my screen automatically. So, of course, that's one of the best features you can use on this phone as well. Now, let's go ahead and move on to the next feature. So, next settings natin, guys, it's not really pre-installed on the phone. But we can install it here on our Play Store. Okay, just go ahead and type in double tap uh, screen lock or lock screen. Ang gamit ko is itong uh, una dahil siya yung pinakamadaling setup. So, open mo lang siya. Okay, so enable mo to. Allow mo dito. Allow mo yung permission. Okay, allow mo yung permission din dito sa installed services. Alright, okay mo lang siya. Okay. Okay, man. Go back. Alright. So once na-enable mo na yung both permission, all you have to do is turn on this on, this one, and this one. Now, we just have to change this number of tap screen off as well, and make sure it's just a double tap para responsive siya. So let's go ahead and test that. There you go. As you can see, my phone gets locked whenever I double tap that. Now, what this feature does is that it saves your power uh, button because of course when we need to lock it we always have to press yung uh, power button natin and this will actually save us time as well and save our phone's durability as well okay let's move on to the next settings all right so now that we have set that up let's go ahead and go to the next uh, settings which is yung password and security so go ahead and go to the settings okay so hanapin lang natin yung biometrics and security okay so punta tayo sa other settings and make password visible now I have already turned it off pero sa inyo posible naka turn on pa siya so make sure that's turned off let me just demo that to you guys copy natin yung Facebook okay so type natin yan as you can see meron siyang preview na lumalabas dito sa ating um, password now pag tinurn off natin yan okay Balik tayo doon. You won't be seeing a preview of the password anymore. So, especially pag nagtotype tayo sa public, we want to make sure na hindi nakikita yung password natin. Okay? Alright. So, let's go ahead and go to the next settings, which is yung animation scale. For that, we will need to do a little bit of a tweaking on our phone. So, just go ahead and scroll down to the bottom of your settings. Punta kayo sa about phone. Okay? And then, Punta kayo sa software information. Okay? And then, tap niyo yung build number ng mga 5 to 6 times. It will say that your developer mode is activated. So, once that is activated, go back to the main screen. Okay? So, go ahead and do here or punta kayo dito sa developer option. So, hanapin lang natin yung animation scale dyan. So, nasa bandang baba yun. Okay. You can see my uh, settings is set up on uh, 0.5. But you can actually put it on 10 just to demo that to you guys as you can see. Um, when you put it a little bit higher, the animation goes a little bit uh, longer. So, um, ako personally, I prefer it to be a little bit snappy and fast. So, I set it up on 0.5. So, I recommend doing the same thing to you guys. Just trust me on that to make sure that the response of your phone is as fast as possible. Okay. Alright, so now there you have it. That's our 13 settings na kailangan yung palitan sa inyong Note 10 Plus right away. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, like, and click that notification bell to make sure you are updated on our upcoming videos. <music>